Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Pam Terrio, author of Alleviate Dry Eye and the clinical director of the Dry Eye Center here at Les Guy Specialists. Today, I want to talk to you about morning routines. Um, my daughter just started school this year and this fall we had a really hard time getting into our morning routine. What do you do first? What do you do next? And so it was a big lesson to me in the power of our habits. So if I get her in the habit of go to the bathroom first, wash your hands, brush your teeth, then you get dressed and we brush her hair and, and just working through it day after day after day so I didn't have to remind her of each step of the way was very powerful. So now that it's the second semester, we are flying high. So nice. So I wanted to talk to you about, real quick, two books that I really love about The Power of Habits. The first is The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg. If you're interested in habit research and you'd like to look a little bit deeper, that's one I would recommend. And the second one is Atomic Habits um, by Charles, no, by James Clear. Charles Duhigg, James Clear wrote Atomic Habits. It was on the New York Times bestsellers list for about eight months this past in 2019 after it came out. So it's a great read and it has very powerful on how you can develop good habits. So. If you're looking to develop some new habits here in January, I would like to share my eye-related habits that I'd like for you to um, adopt. So I'm getting some of this stuff out. So there's four things that are super important for anyone who's suffering from dry eyes would benefit from. Whether you just have mild dry eye or if you have advanced dry eye, these four habits, doing them on a daily basis, will put you in a better position to heal your dry eye in the long run. And so the first one um, is to heat your lids. And so using one of these microwavable warm compress masks, you put the mask in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds, leave it over your eyes for eight to 12 minutes or as long as it'll stay warm. So that it would be step one of our four step process for alleviating your dry eye symptoms. Step two is now, let's say you did this, you went and took a shower, and now you're at the sink brushing your teeth, and you're gonna use this Hypochlor spray. This is just a spray, I've got one loose. There we go, a Hypochlor spray. This one, you just close your eyes, and then you go squirt on each eye, and then rub it in with your fingertips. Close your eyes, keep your eyes closed the whole time, squirt, squirt rub it into your eyelash line. And then if anything's running down your face, you can go ahead and wipe that away, but let it air dry on your eyes. You don't wanna wipe that away or rinse it in any way. So that's the second step, which is harmonize. This second step is you taking the bacteria that are normal to live on our lids and lashes and keeping the population at the ultimate, like there's gonna be bacteria living on our lids and lashes, they're normal to be there, we need some of them, but when they get overpopulated, we start being irritated. We have red and lid margins and um, irritated eyes all day long. Okay, after you've done that, you can put in your contact lenses and put on your makeup after that step, and then it's time to um, use an artificial tear to rinse your eyes, get them feeling fresh again. So I always pres prefer a preservative-free tear these come in single serving vials. You just pop the top off, one drop in each eye. This one you can recap, you smoosh that top back on. Keep this for 24 hours only. You can't reuse it the next day, but you can keep it for 24 hours and use it until it's done. At the final, so that was three. Step three was hydrate. Hydrate your eyes, clear them all out, make them feel better. Step four is heal. This is an anti-inflammatory supplement. It's an omega product, so an omega fatty acid, which is gonna help you systemically to reduce the inflammation in your body. So two of those with breakfast. Make sure you do take otherwise you might have a little upset tummy later on. So there you have it, four steps to alleviate your dry eye symptoms. So go on out there, you're ready for the day, and get started. Thanks again for watching. Once again, I'm Dr. T. You can find me online at www.pamterio.com. That's T H E R 
iot.com, pamterio.com, or in person here at Lusk Eye Specialist in Shreveport, Louisiana. And remember, if we take care of our eyes today, our vision 